Welcome back CQR fans. Once again, we're at Valley Motorsports in uh, West Kelowna, BC, Canada. And we're checking out a 2022 KTM GP890. Sweet looking race bike. You're gonna wanna stick around for this one. So they call this one the Duke. You know it means business when uh, you got a name like that. It is a six-speed transmission. It is liquid-cooled, electric start. It's 85 kilowatts for its horsepower or engine power. Your bore and stroke is uh, 68 by 90 millimeters. You've got a PASC anti-hopping clutch system and it's mechanically operated. Your displacement is going to be 889 cc's and you've got a Bosch EMS with an RBW. It is a twin cylinder four-stroke. It's a parallel twin. You got a forced oil lubrication with two oil pumps on this bad boy. So let's talk chassis, shall we? So you're gonna have a Bosch 9.1 MP ABS system. It's even got a, what they call a super moto mode for the ABS system. And your front brake is gonna be a 300 millimeter uh, disc diameter. Your rear brake is a 240 millimeter disc diameter. It is chain driven, of course. And you got a chromium molly denim, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, it's a steel frame using the engine as stressed element. Uh, the frame is going to be powder coated for its protection. That's good. Your front suspension is going to be a WP Apex 43. And the rear suspension is another WP Apex, but it's a mono shock. You're going to have a 66 degree steering head angle as well. So apparently the dashboard on this thing is actually pretty cool. It's a multi-colored light variable TFT dashboard. It's intuitive it says. And as the revs rise on this thing, the bars will change color to indicate when to shift or telling you that the engine is way too cold to go that flat out. Which is kind of neat. So there's a bunch of rider aids that are built into this bike electronically. And they're quite well refined, which means basically you're not even going to know that they're on and they're running, but they are there working, doing their job. So this will keep you tearing it up into the next set of twisty turns with all the confidence you need to get out of them. So this is going to have a very different handlebar, and I'll get you a close-up shot here in a second. It's a 600, sorry, it's a 760 millimeter wide handlebar. It is adjustable with four positions on the triple clamp and it can be rotated three further positions for that perfect riding position. It's kind of neat that they took that into consideration too. A little bit more on the frame. So apparently the engineers had basically one goal in mind and that was to keep the chassis as rigid and compact as possible for sharper turns and greater lean angles. So the way they've designed this frame is going to accomplish just that. It's going to give you some extreme re responsiveness as well. And a little bit more on the engine. So it's an LCHC engine. So it's an 8-valve power plant. It's the most compact twin-cylinder engine in its class, punching way above its weight in terms of output. Just at immediate glance, this bike is, it looks pretty sweet. I love how aerodynamic it is. Love the KTM Orange. Always been a fan of their color scheme. 
really interesting seat design. Ready to race. Wow, what a sweet display. I love the rims on this thing too. Love their color and their style. Headlights look pretty sweet too. 